Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 horror thriller Bonebreaker, a film that is written and directed by Nicholas Winter. And it stars Lucy Arden, Rachel Bright, Jade uh, Kalushi and Sophie Jones. Now this is a film that focuses on um, a group of uh, fitness fanatics experts who've got like their own like internet channel and things YouTube channel um, and they're going out to these woods to film like a you know like a fitness video type thing um, somebody who's won a competition to be there is joining them um, and they are led out into these woods uh, by the landowner and this the the this area is huge she owns the whole place um, and she gives them free rein. She just puts these wristbands on them and sends them off into the woods. However, there is somebody in the woods who doesn't take kindly to visitors um, and has every intention of making this um, trip into the woods for these individuals um, not very pleasant, shall we say. Now, I've been a bit light on the description there because I want to keep this a bit of a surprise if this is a film that you are going to choose to watch. Um, I, I think some of the posters for this film are quite actually misleading. Um, and I think they, they should have embraced in the marketing what this film actually is. Um, and who the... Um, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it. And who who the killer is basically um, because I, I, I found the approach here quite fresh now this is a pretty generic and predictable horror film it's one of those um, you know number of people running around in the woods being hunted by somebody else type horror films we've seen quite a few of these sort of films over the years some watchable some terrible um, some you know very forgettable um, but what, what I like about this one is the fact that it it kind of knows what it is and it's brutal and uncompromising and it doesn't it doesn't try to overcomplicate things here it it knows exactly what it is and it it knows you as an audience member um will watch this because you enjoy this type of horror film or this type of you know genre in the horror um genre of films um, so it doesn't try to be anything it's not, which I really like about it. It's a very simple story. Uh, it is actually quite brutal at times, uh, um, this film, and un un uncompromising. Um, but I just think, I, I don't know why the posters and the marketing is kind of being misleading here. Um, because I don't think it needed to be. I think it's m maybe to hide what's going on, really. Not that there's a massive surprise here. Um, but I think um, I, I enjoyed um, this film in the sense of um, who the killer is and the setup and things like that. I appreciated it. Um, some of the characters here, I mean, I think the acting for the most part is 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 okay um, for a low budget British horror film, and this is a British horror film. I didn't have a problem with any of the actors here. Um, some of the characters were seriously annoying. Um, there's these like two these two people that kind of run this fitness thing. Um, they've got this weird competition going on between them, and one of them's really overconfident and annoying. Um, but I liked it as well the fact that this 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 girl who came out to join me would won this competition. She gets injured pretty early into the film. And you kind of think, oh, that's it for this one. Um, but, you know, she's got a lot of guile in her as this one. And uh, what I thought they were going to do with a twist for the film, they, they didn't end up doing. And I know that probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Because I'm, I'm really trying to steer away from spoilers here. Because this does it's very, very simple plot. Um, quite predictable. Um, but some of the things you expect don't necessarily yet, yet happen which I thought was quite refreshing for a film like this um, sometimes you just tick the boxes off um, and then you know send you away happy depending on the type of horror fan that you are and this tries to do things a little bit differently which I kind of appreciated um, so yeah I think what we've got here is a fairly basic horror film um, but 
one that I think if you are a fan of this type of horror um, film there are certain things here for you to enjoy don't go in there expecting high production values you know it is pretty low budget um, but it does its job pretty well like I say it doesn't overextend itself with it, with anything in regards to the effects the music or anything um, it just it just puts on screen what it can and tries to make it as gritty and realistic as it can and it does a pretty decent job uh, with that and I like horror films that don't over complicate things um, and don't pretend to be something that they're not um, because they just end up looking cheap and this film is low budget but it doesn't necessarily feel low budget um, because they've just tried to put everything on screen if that makes sense it's just some characters in the woods being chased by somebody trying to be taken out one at a time so for that reason I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 um, I could understand somebody watching this and really hating it but at the same time um, I could understand somebody watching this and appreciating it for what it is and I'm a bit um, in that uh, category so 5 out of 10 for me um, I enjoyed this a little bit more than I expected to um, and if through my explanation this is the kind of horror thriller that you might like, might like to watch then you might be reasonably happy with this one so that's my review for uh, Bone Breaker. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching everybody. And of course I'll see you back for more reviews on Screen Stars.